if you talk about international aviation, I, I always like to quote the example of Bristol. Bristol is a city with a population, a hinterland within one hour of Bristol, 10 million people. It has one airport. We're a population, a country in this part where you can take the Republic, we're 5 million people. You can add in the North, that's 7 million people. We have 13 airports if you include the North, and we have 11 airports if you include just the Republic. We are massively over-airported. And, you know, I, I, nobody likes to hear that, but that's the reality. Are we, does Dublin, the dominance of Dublin, the dominance of Dublin and Belfast is to an extent inevitable because of the very small population base. Uh, what has uh, added, accentuated that dominance, and actually dom Dublin dominates Belfast too, is the motorway network, which is arterial to and from Dublin. People drive to Dublin, particularly when it's not during uh, rush hour. It's easy to get to, and they will drive to Dublin Airport, and they drive to Dublin Airport from uh, in the, the, the catchment of Belfast Airport as well. The future for the airports on the west of Ireland, Knox survives because actually the road network, once you get out into uh, Mayo, isn't great, and there is enough inbound traffic that wants to, that will go, particularly from the UK, into the west of Ireland, will use Knock. But Knock means Galway Airport, you know, in essence, has no future. Uh, and it has no commercial future as a, a, a destination. Shannon struggles uh, because of its physical location is on the far side of Limerick, when everybody, and I, some friends I went to school with who live in Nina, used to always use Shannon until the M7, M9 was completed. Now they never go to Shannon, they go to Dublin. Cork struggles, partly because it's close to Shannon. If you're within two hours of an, air, two hours of an international airport, is your catchment area. And if you take all those airports and draw two-hour circles around them, they all, they all kind of construct around the Midlands somewhere, Mullingar, Athlone is in the, the, the connection of everybody. So in reality, we think there's a viable future for Dublin, Cork, Shannon, Knock. Kerry has a future, but it's, it's, as you can see, even in our ambitious plans, we see Kerry's traffic growing from 400,000 to 600,000. What Kerry do cleverly is they run a one-shift operation. So Kerry only opens at 9 o'clock in the morning and closes about 6 o'clock in the evening. The business community down there would like it to have an earlier departure in the morning and a late arrival in the evening. But there's only about two of them travelling on a daily basis. And I know some will raise Waterford, where, and Waterford has no future, but nevertheless. Future for those airports is very perilous. Uh, there is no viable future for Donegal, there is no viable future for Sligo, for Galway or for Waterford, and the money we waste, and we waste heroic sums of money on PSOs to those airports, is completely wasted.